Uh, hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Uh, I got some nice reactions on this uh, replication of uh, Whoopi's uh, DC motor experiment. Um, but one of the uh, comments was that I did not use uh, the same caduceus output coil like uh, Whoopi did. But uh, I have to say that I did use it later on uh, before I made uh, or after I made the video and I uh, made this uh, this uh, two turn Caduce caduceus uh, coil with one uh, swap at the end and I used it both as an uh, output coil <coughs> and later on as an input coil but uh, the difference with uh, the normal output coil I used in the video is uh, not noticeable. Perhaps some some noise of the, the fan a little bit, but uh, I, I think it's comparable with uh, the four the five turns uh, I normally had. Um, <clears throat> later on, I also experimented with uh, the cap which Whoopi does not has but I have to put a small cap uh, between the AV plugs otherwise the motor will barely turn but this gets gets some extra power later on I put a much bigger cap 40 microfarad uh, over there I removed uh, the small one and then the motor even get more power and you can hear it uh, turn up even faster so I definitely need to have some, some big capacitance uh, so that the RF being picked up by the antenna is, is converted into usable uh, DC, that's uh, the thing. Okay, I will try to uh, make a short video with this caduceus coil, output coil uh, and uh, the motor. So you can see it's running almost the same as with the uh, other output coil I used yesterday in the video back um, I've uh, hooked up my uh, caduceus coil two turns at the top of the cache I have hooked one side uh, as an uh, up to the antenna in my uh, in my shack to the uh, ceiling about 20 meters totally the other side of the uh, uh, wire goes uh, through the coil and then to one side of the AV plug. The other side of the AV plug goes to uh, what does it go? To the batteries, the minus of the batteries, and the minus is also hooked up to ground, which is also in my shack, uh, which is probably also a kind of antenna because it's uh, two stories high. Um, I also have hooked up several meters uh, across the battery because there was another question about the input. Uh, I have uh, hooked up my uh, one of the meters across the both batteries in series 24 volts so the batteries are pretty low at the moment. Uh, this meter is hooked across the fan. We are measuring the, uh, the output of the fan and I have this meter hooked up as a current. Uh, it's in the 5 amps DC range, which means it's in the uh, black uh, scale, middle 50, and then it should be somewhere in 1.6 amps or something when the cashier is activated. Um, well, what we'll see is, is like yesterday, that the fan will start start turning, and uh, we can take some measurements uh, there. Okay, well, I activate. Uh, the cache is uh, running, streaming. I have the probe uh, laying there again. We still have the uh, 160 volts of the cache, 317 kilohertz. Um, battery voltage is 23 volts, something like that, and the amps being drawn is uh, 1.6. 1.6 amps, so it will be something like uh, almost 40 watts putting in to the cache system. The RF being picked up by the antenna and the AV plug is being uh, put in. Uh, 
put by this little fan, 12 volt. Oops. 12 volt DC, 0.22 amps. And the voltage measured across this is uh, 10 volt. But this is highly uh, affected by the RF where I put it. So the best way is I put it near to the, the batteries and then I think it's almost uh, 10 volt which blows this uh, little fan. I cannot measure <coughs> with the probe because uh, when I ground uh, the, the fan it will stop working. Okay, let me try now to uh, remove this, uh, this cap and install the bigger cap uh, instead. Okay, I've removed the little cap, 2.2 uh, nanofarads uh, from the AV plug, so we have no capacitance anymore. And when I now activate the cashier, you will see that the motor will do start, try to start, but it's, there's not enough. Perhaps if I give it a push, it will start running. Okay, it will. It runs out of itself, but not much as fast as it did with the. Uh... Okay, so I will install now the bigger cap and see what the difference is there. Okay, there we are. I have hooked up this uh, 40 microfarad capacitor across uh, the plus and the minus of the fan. And we will now uh, activate the cache. You will see that the blow is now blowing at a much faster pace. You can even hear it, hear it run much faster now. Um, we're still running at uh, 1.6 amps from the cashier. Voltage has dropped a little bit, 23.4. And the voltage across the uh, the fan is still the same, about 10, 10 volt, but it's very uh, much influenced by the RF, so that's not re really reliable. But I can hear the fan putting out much, much more uh, power, and that's because of the, uh, the cap, which uh, rectifies or trans, uh, converts much more RF into DC, uh, I guess. Okay, try to put some light uh, on this uh, thing now to see if there's some, some light bulbs to be lit. Okay, I tried adding a uh, very small bulb, a 6 volt 2.5 watt bicycle bulb, but uh, it would not uh, start, neither the lamp would lit nor the fan would run. So I removed the fan and we have only now the lamp, but even then uh, when I start the cashier it will uh, blow, but uh, no lights to be seen on this small bulb. So although we have uh, the streamer and we have some, some power here, I have no uh, power build up across this uh, bulb. Probably the resistance of the bulb is much much too low for any power to uh, to build and the let the, the the lamp to light. Okay, thank you for watching.